we arrive in Senegal and um, go to training. And the first day of training, they tell me that they're switching me from one program to another. And if I don't like it, I can quit. Um, we had rented our house. We had set up financial systems so that we could leave our finances on autopilot for two years. We had sold two cars. I had retired. And they thought that they could simply switch me from one program to another. Now, I, I had been given an offer to serve in agroforestry, which I was excited about. And in fact, I had spent the two months before um, collecting books on forestry, learning how to graft, uh, learning all about setting up a network of people who could support me while I was in, uh, in the forestry in Senegal, um, getting in touch with some NGOs that would give me seeds. I had really prepared to be a forestry agent and was very excited about it. Turned out that was the best program in Senegal. Uh, they switched me to the uh, cereal crop program, the ag program, which was the worst program in Senegal. Um, I didn't completely know that at the time. But I, I, I objected. I said, you can't just switch me. You gave me an offer. I relied on the offer. I'm here. And they said, tough. You don't like it, you can go home. Which meant, of course, that Paula would have to go home. So that was the, that was the first day of training. Uh, training was bad, very general, very theoretical. Um, uh, lots of lectures, very little practical information. Um, the cross-cultural aspects of training were, were very good, and the medical aspects were good, but the program aspects were unprofessional. 